Okay, um, welcome to today's lesson. Today's lesson is on records uh, in Python. Now, Python doesn't actually have a record structure, but it does have other ways of storing records. A records is a data structure which can store more than one um, data type, that is, multiple variables within inside it. So this allows us to keep it together in exactly the same way as it would within databases. So if you think about a database, if you have a pupil's database, that pupil's database would have all the information you need about one pupil, their name, their address, their phone number, uh, their pupil record number, etc. Well, we can do exactly the same thing in Python. And you'll see what I've done first of all is I have set up uh, this program with the following bits. Now you'll notice it's at the top of the program. Okay, this is in the global area. So as a result, this uh, record we're going to create is going to be accessible throughout the entire program, even within functions, etc. Now that makes it very useful for us because it saves us having to constantly have to recreate it. So you'll need this at the top of um, any program where you're going to use a record structure. Okay, so we'll start off. So what we do is we use class, and then we're going to use pupil. Okay, and what we do for class pupil is we then just put in things like, for example, name is an str, class register class is also an str, and we might, for example, have the pupil ID, which in this case is going to be uh, an integer. Okay. Now to access this information, we have to uh, set it up. So the easiest way of doing that is just to pass the information straight in. So for example, if I say something like the following, so um, pupil one equals pupil brackets Bob one L one and then that number. Okay, so what that will do is that will assign to um, pupil one the following name Bob, register class 1L1, and it will set the pupil ID uh, to one. So if I run it, you'll see absolutely nothing happens because we haven't printed anything yet. But now what I can do is I can do pupil one dot name. I'll stick that in a print, it makes more sense. Pupil one is, and the way we get this out here is use dot notation. So we can just do pupil one dot name. So if we run it, so pupil one is Bob. Okay. And again, we could do exactly the same thing for anything else now. So it's all assigned to the one, one, one thing. So we could do, uh, if I just put, and we could call it again and again, just expand any other variable. And again, dot notation, so it's just pupil one dot h class. Okay. Now these are mutable, which means we can change it. So if I want to adjust this, so we made the mistake here, then what I can just simply do is if I do pupil one dot reg class equals one s one. And then I'm going to copy and paste it. You're going to see we can change these as we go. Okay, so you'll see that it changed there from their name. Uh, sorry, kept the same name, but we changed register class. Okay, we can just go ahead and print pupil one to see what it looks like. Okay, so pupil one is of type pupil. So that's what we say when it's a record of type people uh, with name equals Bob, reg class equals 1s1, and people ID equals 1. And I'll stop recording there.